What is going on guys? It's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing video. Today you join me, I look, look at me, I look like an absolute drown rat and I'm here and I'm going to be fishing West Lakes today. I'm absolutely buzzing. I haven't, I haven't fished West probably since myself and Nick, uh, Mark, come down in the summer. And if you haven't seen that video guys, some of the best fish in the lake actually come out on that session. So if you haven't seen that, go over to the channel and check that one out. But on this particular session, like I said, it's, it's, it's absolutely peeing it down out there already. It seems to be a tradition at the moment. The last three vlogs, every time I've been, it's been, I've been sort of dripping like an egg sandwich, you know? It's, it's just been horrendous. But I'm here today with Jacob, and he's with, here with a couple of his friends, and this is a gentleman that watches the YouTube channel. And I think I mentioned in a previous uh, vlog, um, we've been sort of messaging each other for a while. We've been saying, we will get a session, and we will get a session, we finally booked a session and they're actually going to fish a different bank we're all on the lake this is what it's all about and we can sort of spread ourselves out and see if we can find the fish so uh, jacob and his two mates are going to be fishing over to the right i'm going to be fishing over to the left i've got mark here with me today um he's just doing a day session and nick's here for the social i'm actually sat in my car being a bit of a wuss at the moment because i ain't got many spare clothes and i'm here for the next 48 hours and um, i don't want to get absolutely soaked so i've changed my clothes at the moment i'm going to brave it i think very soon if it just keeps up if it doesn't slow up i'm going to go around do it in but on a sad note um, I was really looking forward to seeing um, Trev today now Trev come down which is Martin's dad and um, I've got a good relationship with Trev really good friend of mine and um, he's, he's not wow he's not wow he's um He's actually turned around and said look mate I can't do this and he's, he's, he's turned around and said to me he, 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 I'm going back so I'm gutted I'm gutted but if you're watching this Trev which I'm sure you will be <laughs> Look at this, he's brought me some, I don't want to flip it up because I don't want to pour curry over myself. But I've got a chicken curry and the famous, and if you haven't watched the channel before guys, you know I love my spicy Mexican rice. So Trev, thanks very much mate, you're an absolute legend, Legend. but I'm a little bit disappointed. Now obviously you didn't stay, but I get, I get it, I understand mate, I respect that. But... On a more positive note, next weekend, we're actually I'm actually filming at Kokin Farm. Well, I've never been to Kokin Farm. Myself, Martin, Trev, and T are heading up there, and I cannot wait. And on the note of T, Trev, being a legend he is, he's actually turned around and said, look, take my screenshot and um, let, let T have my ticket. Mate, you, you, I, I, you really don't know how much that means to me even, and even T. So thanks very much for that, Trev. And again, hope you get better soon, mate. But without further ado, let's get this video started, guys. I'll probably liaise when I've set, it's gonna be a little bit of a different intro this one, because so I'll probably set up, get everything in the bivvy, get my bed chair set up, um, put my rods up against the bivvy, start making rigs, and then I'll probably start the vlog from that, because I don't want to get the camera equipment absolutely soaked. So there it is, guys. Hopefully, I can bring you an absolute banger. So, before we start, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And hopefully, I can bring you an absolute banger. Let's have it. Whoop, whoop. Wow. All right, guys. Let me let me take you in my bivvy. Look at this. All set up. Got the Nash bivvy there. Going to be warm tonight. I've actually set my outer brolly up. I never, ever set my brolly up, really. But um, where I'm at, hopefully, you can hear me over the wind. I do apologise. I try and protect you here. Right hand rod, I'm going to be fishing out towards that pylon. Yeah, around sort of 15 wraps, I found a nice spot. This rod, I'm going to fish just in front of me, and I'm fishing just off the back of a gravel spot. So it's sort of soft, 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 and you tit 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 on the top. So I'm just fishing just off the back of a gravel spot. And the left hand rod, I'm going to be fishing on the margin. Again, it's a little bit softer there, but perfect for the scenario I want to be fishing in. So that's that. Again, apologies about the wind, but I'll just bring you my bivy here. And what I'm going to be doing is now, I'm just prepping my bait. So what I've done is, I've put a handful of 40 millers in there, Parker baits, OG fish. And then, I've added some crumb in there as well. Absolutely fantastic this time of year. And uh, I don't know if I've mentioned before, well I have mentioned before on the channel, the OG fish chops has not got such a, a high oil content. So you can use it all year round. So I put some of that in there. Look at that, that looks mega. And what I've actually got in there is some disco disco maggots and also some casters as well, a couple of handful of casters. So very bitty for this time of year, but that is my sort of one of my go-to winter mixes. Then over here, so I'm keeping you completely in the loop, is some 
OG fish 40 mils. What I've done is, look, I've, I, I've, I've left them and I've soaked them. And you, you can almost mulch them up. They're, they're just beautiful, they are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, again, a couple of handfuls in. Just so if the smaller fish come in, there's some bigger food particles on the floor there for the for the um, rhinocerpigs to pick up, if you like. So, that's the plan of action. Now, to get a little bit of bait out and then get them rods out. I've got Mart over here, look at this. The whole team's here. He's next to me. I've got Nick in the bivvy as well, Nick Sweetman, I'm sure people have seen him before on the channel and again the gentleman that caught the pretty one and also Rudy which is in that swim up there which again I mentioned earlier in this video already but here's Mark set up and again he's fishing out there somewhere I don't know exactly where he's fishing and then behind me is actually East Lakes so it's quite funny really I mean I don't think you're allowed to fish both lakes but I mean what I'm trying to put across is I'm literally sat west east so yeah that's where I'm at that's what I'm doing guys Peg four, come on the carp. So there it is, there you go, there's some the mulches in there. Like I said, the casters, the disco maggots. What a mix that is. And like I said, I'm not gonna go crazy. Maybe five to seven spoms I'm gonna put on the spot. But I'm gonna take my time with them and get them as accurately as humanly possible. To obviously, to obviously maximize my chances of getting a bite, but that's just beautiful, that is. Anyway, I'm gonna stop playing with it. And I'm gonna get some out. Happy days. Well guys, well happy. I still ain't got a rod out yet, but really, really, really happy with them. I just run about between 10, 12 spoms, I reckon, but I only filled them up halfway and I'm fishing a midi, but they all went out. Part two of them, they all went out on the money. So really happy with them, really, really happy with them. But time now to make some rigs on point. So I'm fishing uniform tonight. I can't wait to get my teeth into the next 48 hours. I'm absolutely freezing. And by the way, if you're looking at this, you're thinking that's not a Parker Bates beanie. I know, I'm wearing a blooming tea cozy today. Look at the thing. I forgot it, like an idiot. So that's why I'm wearing one of these and not a Parker Bates beanie. And by the way, the Parker Bates beanies are on the website. Go check them out. Oh, Mark's just turned around to me. He said, you do know it's half past 12. I'm like, half past 12? I've, I've completely lost track of time. And I've had numerous phone calls this, this morning, sort of dealing with uh, different bits on the phone. So next thing you know, I think half 12. So that gives me, you know, not, not long now. As, as you guys know, this time of year, the, the sort of five o'clock is pretty much dark. So I better speed things up because I've already wasted. I got here at eight o'clock. So that puts into <laughs> perspective of exactly how uh, long I've been here. But yeah, I definitely need to make some rigs ASAP and get them out on the money. And then he turns around and he says, ain't got no lunch. And obviously he knows I'm on a diet and then starts turning around saying he's gonna get chili cheese bites on the way home and a blooming Burger King, which is probably one of my favorites, so. Well, obviously, as I showed you earlier, guys, my right hand rod, I'm fishing a lot of naturals in there, so I've opted to go for a natural hook bait as well. Um, little boom again, and I've put quite a big bit of putty on there for the reason is I want it to sink down, so it should probably sit uniform two inches off the bottom or sort of just inch and a half off the bottom. But that's exactly what I'm going to fish on the right hand rod where I've put the naturals out. And hopefully, just hopefully, that snags me a bite. I'm probably gonna opt to fish that on its own as well, with a little bit of foam on the hook, just so it feathers down nicely, and you get that uniform sort of presentation on the bottom, like I've mentioned before. I've got a tiny little kicker on the end there as well, cut down, and what that does is it's just help kick it out when you hit that clip. But there it is, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not hiding anything here, that's exactly how I'm fishing. Happy days. And what I'm gonna do is, just before I cast that out, as I've got the magic dust there, the OG fish magic dust, 30 different food particles in there, including extracts and various other different things. That stimulates the carp, no end. So I'm gonna dip my rig in that, get it coated in it, get it out, let's do it. There it is, that's what it looks like. A good friend of mine, Nick's been doing very, very well on this, and someone who's sort of a big part of Parker Bates. And um, the magic dust, the OG fish, 
Magic Dust with maggots is an absolute game, game changer this time of the year. And this particular mate of mine went to a lake, absolutely ripped it up. This was a couple of months ago, I think I had 25 fish in a day session or something, and they were good fish as well. So just a food for thought, and like I said, if you haven't seen that, pop over to parkerbaits.co.uk guys and check that out. Game changer. B, first rod out. Well happy with that. First cast, you know what? I even gave myself a little fist bump. I was that happy with that. So, yeah. Well, that'd be nice. Scream off now, mate. But yeah, happy with that. First rod out. Two more rigs to make, and then I'm going to get these two rods out. But like I said, happy as happy with that one. And if I'm honest, that probably will stay out till tomorrow morning now. It hit clip lovely. Went down with a donk. I can't ask for more. So, there it is, magic fingers are out because I know the lads behind me now are laughing their heads off with my magic fingers. So yeah, let's get some rigs made and get them two rods out on the money. Right then guys, well that is it. I've actually got all three rods out now, really happy with them, and um, time to just chill out a little bit. The time is now, it's time now, bear with me. 37 minutes past one. So as you can probably hear, the lads behind me now having a chat, so time to have a bit of a social, which is the whole reason for this um, trip. And um, and hopefully I can nick one on the way, but yeah, really happy, like I said, really happy with how they went out. Nice donk, each rod, I, I physically can't do no more now, I've just got to sit back, lock onto the water and just hope for the best. So, there it is, that's the update for now, and I'm probably going to give myself a good couple of hours guys, and I'll check in, I'll check in later on this evening. I am here for 48 hours, if I haven't mentioned that already, so yeah, it's on. Rod's on the dance floor, baby. Well, it's coming up to about half past two now. I thought I'd have a little check-in. It's actually slackened off out there now. You can probably see it out there. Definitely slackened off. So I'm a little bit happy with that. And hopefully it stays like that for the rest of the time. I am due rain tonight. But hopefully that brings in a slightly warms up the water a little bit maybe. I don't know. But look at it, mate. Absolutely mega out there. I'm like, I'm absolutely buzzing for tonight. Like I said, I'm buzzing to see tea as well. You know, I really am. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. But yeah, there it is. That's, that's my view for now. Like I said, little, quick little check-in. Come on the car. <laughs> So I just thought I'd get a little bit of footage just before it gets dark. Obviously this is where Mark was and where T's going to go. In this peg, he's got that water there in front of him. But as you can tell, he's still picking it down. I need to get back in that bivvy now. But um, yeah, that's what it's looking like. At least I've got a nice marker to fish to this evening, which is going to make life a little bit easier. And as you're probably looking there, my tips are under the water and there's a massive reason for that. There's a lot of bird life here and I am, I am also fishing back leads as well. Um, to help prevent when the swans come in and feed them. You can feed them off, but it just stops them getting all tangled up in it. So a little tip there, if anybody didn't know, that watches the channel. I don't think you're gonna see this, guys, but sort of in line with this pole, I would say it, it is on my spot. There's, a, there's a, almost like a little tarnished uh, flat spot, if you like, and it sort of travels the, let, the width. And I'm not saying that's 100% fish, but what I'm trying to put across is, that's very reassuring considering I haven't seen much, but again, that would be the source, the dust doing its thing down there and hopefully, just hopefully, that's a fish sort of lingering or sort of maybe pecking and just flicking that bit off the bottom and then that's what then 
creates these flat spots for anybody who didn't know um, but yeah wouldn't that be nice wouldn't that be nice just before it goes dark so get some lovely footage of a nosa pig but we shall see we shall see right, guys, look at this now coming up to six o'clock and to be honest with you i'm getting hungry because i am going to get an early night tonight but i am looking forward to not a not a ben parker special i'm looking forward to trev's gourmet curry tonight as i mentioned earlier i'm really looking forward to it. i've been looking forward to it all day he's got me some spicy rice mate he, he, don't get much better than this mate probably one of the nicest hopefully one of the nicest um dishes i've had on the bank like i said i actually can't wait so i'm going to warm the curry through now i'll keep you keeping the loop and hopefully well, actually i think i'm going to warm the rice up first because obviously if that's not cooked properly oh i don't know i'm going to have a little play i think you know i'm going to see what i can come up with but i'll let you know the end result and i'll definitely let you know how it tastes because i know trev's going to be watching this going you like my bloomin' curry? <laughs> so yeah, I'll keep you posted. I'll see you soon. Look at this boy. Right, first mouthful. Trev, mate, your name's not Trev anymore. Your name's Ramsey. Mate, greatly appreciated. I'm gonna go bed. I'm gonna go to bed tonight, one happy man. And a nice big portion as well. That's a Ben Parker portion there. Not used to this on the bank normally, as you know. And anybody who watches the channel will know it's normally bland chicken and rice. Well, certainly not tonight, mate. And again, I'm going to thank you one more time for this. Absolutely beautiful, mate. I'm going to tuck in now, shut up, and um, <laughs> enjoy my dinner. Thanks again, boss. Lovely jubbly. Wow. That's it for me, dinner finished. I might have a few Garibaldi's to finish off. Absolutely demolish that, to be brutally honest with you, but it was really, really nice. One thing I'm missing is my Parker Bates beanie, I'm not gonna lie, and um, this, this is a pain in the bum. It don't sit on my head right. I'm a proper beanie whore as well. I love beanies, I really, really do. But yeah, I'm not gonna waffle, guys. I'm gonna get some sleep, and I'll probably touch base with you in the morning hopefully before with a fish but if not i'll touch base with you in the morning i am here for 48 hours so um yeah i'm just gonna have a bit of time to myself tonight and just enjoy being on the bank and tea's not even here yet so um yeah i'm sure i liaise in the morning and like i said hopefully i see you before with an absolute nossa pig in the net i'll see you in a bit guys and uh take care gutted mate gutted i don't even know what the time is what is the time coming up to six half past six so it's not too long on since the last clip and um, my bobbin, bobbin pulled up tight. Beep, beep, beep. I thought I'd leave it a little bit longer, and I did. And um, you're not going to see that, but my hook point's gone. I've been done. <sighs> Absolutely gutted. So I'm going to have to redo the whole rig now. But T is actually on his way round. So, oh, mate, I'm so gutted. Yeah, you can probably just about to see that tip now tarnished. Oh, mate. Right, anyway, positive, positive. Let's get this um, redone and get that rod back out on the money because it's so definitely, definitely something over there. Money, Come that went out. Um, <laughs> I can't sit here and say I got that out first time because I didn't, to be brutally honest with you. First one went out. You know, as you cast and it sort of, as it hits the water, it hits clip. I'm like, oh, do I? Don't I? I'm like, come on, Ben, stop being lazy. So I've reeled it back in. Obviously, left it in the clip, reeled it back in, made another bag, and I've said to myself, a forecasting, come on, Ben, this is it. Now it's cold out there. Done it. Hit clip, lovely. Crack, lovely, and it's on the money out there now. But like I said, it happens to all of us. I can't sit here and say I got that first time because I certainly didn't. But I'm back out on the money, and <laughs> that certainly woke, woke, woke me up, to be honest with you. So, fingers crossed now. Um, that, that's the start of something, maybe. I don't know, maybe it's the start of something. Maybe they're over there feeding, but I was definitely done. I've looked at the hook point, and it's like, it's proper bird. Proper bird. Uh, anyway, it is what it is. Um, hopefully, next time you see me, I catch a fish. If not, I'll catch up with you in the morning. Wow, morning, guys. It is now nine o'clock. And unfortunately, I didn't have nothing last night. Part of the little bit of commotion I said I had 
absolutely raining the hoolie out there at the moment if you like with trying to be polite <laughs> just woke up to be honest with you I'd not, not a bad night's sleep but it was sort of up and down you know I've been struggling in sleep in the last week or so to be brutally honest with you um, but yeah um, one thing I would say is as well most people get up in the morning and think well, I've got to redo my rods I've got to redo my rods reel all their rods in recast them all out now that's something I don't do because I know 90% of people do do that so what I tend to do is and I know T does the same as well so what we do is I wait till about 12 o'clock and I've actually had fish at 11 here and I've actually had the big comment out of this particular lake and I haven't got the footage of that guys but what I will do is you're gonna have to go over to the over to check you know what I will do is that's what I'll do you can see it there the one in the middle which is West Lakes which is this one here West Lakes and um, it was it's, it's me and Ian on the thumbnail Ian actually caught the warrior and I had the um, had the big common out of here lovely fish real lovely fish and if you haven't seen that guys go over to the channel but going back to what I was saying I had that at around 11 o'clock and I've also had fish about 9 o'clock well, I normally get up about 8 so I don't know about you guys but if you get up at 8 then a lot of people go oh, alright re reach up but no what I'm trying to put across is don't always reel your rods in because you sometimes you miss that bite time and the chance of a bite. I'm not saying every lake, I'm just saying that's just how I do it and it has picked me up fish before and I think it's definitely picked up the bigger fish. Um, I don't know why um, but I do feel that helps massively. And what I will say is guys with this particular video, stay tuned because what I am going to be doing is just giving up, not, not giving away any bait but, but um, releasing our winners and doing the, the random comment generator for people that entered our Christmas special. So if you if you did enter that Christmas special, thank you very much for entering. I really do appreciate it. And also watching and supporting the channel. But what I will do is, there was three giveaways in that. So there's three kilo of bait up for grabs. And what I'll do is, later on in this video, so stay tuned, later on in this video, what I will do is, I'll get it up on my phone, record my phone so you can see that it's all legit. I hit that um, uh, comment generator and you can see the winners of that Christmas special. So, that's the update for now guys, apologies I haven't got a fish in the sling, you know, I'm kicking myself a little bit, but that is this time of the year and it, and it is what it is, I don't think the lake's done a bite for a while, obviously Jacob's the other side and um, from what I know they haven't had anything, um, all three of them I don't think they've had anything, although one of them had a run last night, it's just, it's just one of them, it's just one of them, it is what it is, but we got another 24 hours left. I've got to be off tomorrow, 11 o'clock. So I'm really excited to get my teeth into the next 24 hours-ish and um, potentially nick one. But what I am going to do is I'm going to hold off till 12 o'clock, maybe nick one between now and then, be nice, and um, redo the rods then. So that's the update for now. I'll keep you posted. I'll see you soon. Look at this, absolutely soaked. I've got an old school bivy. I've had this about 15 years. I think my mum got it for me for my birthday when I was little, when I was younger, should I say. And um, it hasn't got the new, the new, um, you know, most bivvies, you can pull them up and, oh, hello. Hello. Every time I pick up the camera, I seem to get some bit of action in the last few feet logs. That'd be nice. Anyway, the newer generation bivvies, you can obviously zip them up from the bottom, can't you, and have a peek at the top. Obviously, this is old school and it's, it's really old, so I've only do this. I've got, I've had to, like, put my, put my, my landing mat there to sort of prevent the rain from coming in but um yeah look at it mate absolutely soaked in it but i'm not complaining because i'm happy i'm on the bank i'm fishing i'm living the dream <laughs> but look at that out there mate it looks mega the wind is absolutely howling in towards me i just hope it brings the fish with them
so it's half past 12 guys and I thought I'd have a little check in below me I've got um, some rice cooking I've got my good friend and a bit of a trip down memory lane a good friend of mine Matt we used to go to college together spa shot college back in the day that's probably over what over a decade ago is it something like that long 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 time ago so it's nice to have a catch up and normally when I pop to West he pops down we always have a good catch up and that and um, yeah so no now rice on the go back to Ben's standards I know I had my curry yesterday but I've just got my plain old bland chicken and rice again um, nothing special but I have got some Frank's hot, store, <laughs> Frank's hot sauce to spice it up a little bit but that is going to be my lunch for today so I still haven't really done my rods yet it's absolutely blowing a hoolie out there the wind's hacking in like I said tips under the water it's starting to come in I'm absolutely soaked to be honest with you I'm getting a little tsunami pull in front of me as well but yeah looking forward to my rice and chicken so I've just started to do the other two rods. I've, re I've redone two rods and um, my left hand side margin rod I've brung in and the crayfishes have had a nice little go at that. I did actually have a little pink top on that so I had a half a OG fish um, 18 mil with like a sort of like fishing like a double barrel if you like. So with an 18 mil with a half of a, another bait on top. But like, as you can see, the crayfish have absolutely smashed it. So I'm glad I did bring that in. And also my hook point's not the best either because I can just feel it there now. But I'm glad I reach up. Them two rods went out absolutely lovely. Nice donk on them. And I'm going to leave my right hand rod out towards that pylon till later on this evening. But there, yeah, there it is. That's the update for now. just gone free there now I've been resting that oh come on focus up camera I've been resting the right hand rod it's up against the bivy at the moment to be fair but I'm gonna think I'm gonna get that back out there now and fish closer closer me and Corey were having this conversation yesterday I think I'm gonna fish closer I'm not gonna put any more bait out because obviously that didn't work I'm just gonna fish little tiny bags and um, maybe a tiny little bag of naturals or something and head it head out towards that pole. I'm gonna clip up first, find my spot, and then work off the back of that. Let's do it. Again, simple as simple. Tiny little bag there of Robin Red pellets. I love these, and there's a little bit of magic dust in there as well. I've sprinkled it over the pellets and it sticks to them. Tiny little OG fish pop up there. Again, don't want to talk too much about them guys, so they will be coming to the website very very, very soon. Normal generic setup that I normally fish, but that I need to get out towards that pole. It. 
there's Tebow behind me, he's just putting a little bit of bait out. I've opted not to put any more bait out, like I said. That's the, that's the line settling there. That rodder went out lovely, lovely crack. And like I said, I'm literally just gonna leave it now. Them rods aren't gonna move till tomorrow. Um, the joys of this time of year, I don't wanna disturb anything. You can keep casting, you keep changing, but ultimately, if the fish ain't in front of you, you're not gonna catch them. But hopefully they do move over. There is fish in front of me, they're just being very sluggish, being that it's this time of the year. But there it is, like I said, happy of that. Physically can't do any more. And um, now to just have a nice chilled, sort of late afternoon, evening with tea and just chill out now. And it was also very nice to see Matt because I ain't seen him in a, a good few months as well. So there it is guys and um, that's the update for now. <laughs> wow, it's just coming up till just coming up to five o'clock now. All tucked up in a tucked up in a bed chair. T's coming around in a second, he's more than safe to do that because he's literally just as rods as behind mine. But yeah, as you can see, getting quite dark out there. It looks quite light, but it's actually, you know, give it another half an hour, you ain't gonna be able to cast, you're not gonna be able to see. So I'm glad I got the rods out early, steaming the camera up, Ben, stop it. And um, so yeah. I've just, I've just <laughs> eaten my dinner, I just had, uh, I, didn't, I didn't record that. It's at, like I said earlier, it's absolutely relentless this rain, so I'm actually locked in my bivy as such. Rods are out, like I said, like I mentioned earlier. But something a little bit different to the channel, something me and my brother have been thinking about. And what we're going to be doing is, from now on, we're going to be doing Catch of the Week. So Catch of the Week will be um, who has caught, we, me and Tom feel the best capture of that week on Parker Bates. Now, I'm going to start it off. And this week, it's a gentleman called Chris. He's had a 32 pounder, 32 pound mirror. He called it early week this week. Absolutely beautiful fish. This was at a, a lake called Trentview. He was actually fishing 33 wraps. He actually had it on the fruit and nut. So Chris, he went over to our website. He purchased um, a kilo of bait, a sauce and a dust. Um, never never bought our products before. Obviously, I, I sort of get it. He only wanted to buy a, a kilo to start off with. Totally respect that. Went off. I think he was fishing other baits on the other rods and it was the fruit and nut rod that went. So, he had it on that, 33 wraps and like I said, up on the screen now, what a beautiful fish it is. He also nicked a couple of other ones as well. So Chris, for this week's um, fish of the week or Parker Baits fish of the week is that one there. Chris, well done mate, absolutely smashed it. So now moving on, as promised, in the earlier in this video I mentioned that we were going to do the competition giveaway that I'd done in the Christmas giveaway. So there was three, three competitions in there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera around now guys and I'm going to actually go through that and put the names in the random name ge uh, comment generator. Hit start and let's see who the winners are of the competition from the Christmas special. Right, let's do it. Right, so there it is. I've put it in. So this is the 18 miller comment. Um, some people are 18 mm and some people are 18 miller. So what I've done is I've typed in 18, so it's fair for everyone. There's 35 comments on this one, so the odds are absolutely brilliant on this one, guys. The actual video didn't do massive views, so you, the odds are really good, really, really good. So what I'm going to do is this is a chance to win some OG fish, 18 millers, like I mentioned before. Let's see, and these will be sent to your door free of charge. Let's see who the winner is. Boom. Please get in contact down below, mate. Absolutely smashed it. You have won our OG fish, 18 millers. And like I said, get in the comments down below and we will get out here. Um, contact us on our social media, whether that be Instagram or Facebook, no problem at all. And well done, mate. Smashed it. So next up was some 18 mil fruit and nut. And what I asked people to do is was to type in below Parker Bates FN. And that's how you're going to enter this one. So again, I've put F in to make it fair for everybody. There's 39 comments on this one. Again, odds very, very good. I'm gonna hit start now, and let's see who the winner is for our 80 mil OG fruit and nut. Max, well done. Again, get in contact with us, mate. Absolutely smashed it. Happy for you. Like I said, get in contact on our social medias, whether that be Instagram or Facebook again. Thanks very much, mate, and well done again. 
Now, on to the last one, which was the 10 millers. So I've put, obviously, there 10 millers. 43 comments on this one. So again, odds oh, still very, very good for people. Again, I'm going to hit start now, and the same things apply. Who's going to win this one? Well, he, Mark. Again, get in contact with us, mate. Absolutely smashed it. Same things apply. Well done. And um, this will be the 10 millers delivered to your door. Absolutely free of charge. Well done, mate, and thanks again for watching. Happy days. So well done to all the winners there. Really happy for you all, and it's quite nice, like I said, for the Christmas special to give something back to you guys, because I really do appreciate you watching our YouTube channel and also supporting Parker Bates as a general. So again, well done to you three, and like I said, please get in contact whether that be on our Facebook, our Instagram. I know I keep saying that, but we've had a lot of people in the past get confused on how to sort of claim their price. So there it is, guys. I'm going to move on now, and I'll probably catch up with you in a little while. We have now, T. <laughs> <laughs> the 500th coffee. The Parker Bates Brewer. Where's them sachets? Can I show you? So, me and T, well, to be fair, we, what was it Nick when we were fishing at uh, Topper when we started, drink, started drinking these? Yeah, Is that right? right? Yeah. So, <laughs> we've discovered these bad boys. I think I've spoke about them in the, on the channel before, but if you haven't tried them, get on them. Absolute game changers. Nescafe Caramel Sexy Lattes. Absolutely beautiful they are. Um, I think you get about, how many in a pack? Eight in a pack. Eight in a pack. They're not too bad. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely try these if you haven't already. <laughs> Wake me up in the middle of the night when you catch a nosser, mate. <laughs> See you later, mate. See you in a bit, mate. Well, it's definitely an early night and an early checkout for me today. Half past seven. I'm absolutely knackered, to be honest with you, but definitely a very, very early night. I've already said that a couple of times now, but yeah. I'll, ch I'll touch base, hopefully, in the middle of the night when I catch a nosser. If not, I'll touch base for you first thing in the morning. See you later. I've literally just woke up. Again, another blank, another nothing through the night, nothing. <sighs> the pressure was right. The temperature was a little bit warmer yesterday. The wind was hacking in my face all night. <sighs> it happens to the best of us, you know, when you think you're in the right position. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm far from the best. But I'm, I'm, I'm definitely far from naive as well. But it just sometimes it just doesn't happen, guys. And this is it. You just got to keep positive. You know, I'm on the bank every single week, and you know, I like, I like to think that I lock onto the water. I really do try my best. I find the features. I fish the show and fish if I see them. But now nah, it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen, and it hasn't happened again. This is the. Um, don't get me wrong, I had a fish in a week when I was filming, but yeah, it's just not happened on this 48 hour session up here on West and the first session on West this year. Um, is what it is, is what it is. So I've probably got about an hour left now, hour and a half left, ish, something like that. But there's always time the rods are out, the bobbins are still sat where they were. I didn't even have a beep last night, guys, not even a beep. But we've all been there, we've all been there. I know a lot of people probably watching this now have been go, I can relate, I can relate, because I've had a lot of messages. You know, last night I thought it was gonna I've even had a few messages from mates, mate, you're gonna have one tonight, you're gonna have one tonight. Even I sat there thinking, I'm gonna have one tonight. But no, it just didn't happen, it didn't happen. But anyway, I'm not disheartened and um, I'm gonna keep positive and um, hopefully I can nick one in the next, like I said, hour and a half. But if I'm honest, it's not looking great. But if I just turn you around quickly, look at this. It looks like a different lake today. There's no wind, there's no nothing. It's flat calm out there. It hasn't been like this from day dot of me being here the last 48 hours. Two hours prior to me leaving, look at this. <laughs> completely, completely different lake. Completely different lake. So you say bobbins there, bob on where they were. It's just, yeah, it's just not happened. It's just not happened. But like I mentioned, guys, I will keep you posted before I leave. Come on, the OG. Right then guys, that is it. Rods are in, 
and like I said unfortunately that last hour and a half I didn't manage to nick one I'm gagging to get home to get this stupid tea cosy off my head and slip a Parker Bates beanie back on <laughs> but tea's there next to me now and um, again the tea didn't have nothing I'm pretty sure the guys didn't have nothing the other side something that was a little bit reassuring now I just spoke to the guys a guy who was fishing east the last 24 hours which is the lake behind which is slightly easier than uh, west and this gentleman actually blanked as well so if anything that's a little bit reassuring because it just goes to show that the fish just aren't feeding and they haven't been feeding over the duration of the last couple of days so there it is guys next week i'm filming at coking farm never been up there before looking forward to that one so stay tuned and keep an eye on the channel because over the duration of next month you're going to see that video so without further ado guys i'll see you next sunday 7 30 but just before i go give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and hopefully hopefully i've brought you a video very watchable the last thing i did want to say is guys we're nearly at 10,000 subs so like i say and i say it again please 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 get your finger and absolutely smash that subscribe button i'll see you same time next sunday 7 30 all the best peace out